All right, for more on this, let's bring in Monica Crowley, former Assistant Treasury Secretary for Public Affairs and the host of the amazing podcast, the Monica Crowley Podcast. Monica, good to see you. Great to see so you. So, listen, I think we share the same vibe on the digital currency. What's your take? Yeah, it's hard to overstate how dangerous a path yeah. this is. When President Biden came into office, he ordered the Treasury Department under Secretary Yellen to actually begin a pilot program to study right. how this would affect the U.S. economy and the average American. We're not alone. Most Western governments also have these pilot programs. So there is a massive move toward a central bank digital currency in all of these countries. The bottom line here is not ease or convenience. That's how they're going to sell it, right? The ultimate objective is to move us to a cashless society. So you will no longer have that hard asset of that $20 bill or $10 bill. Your money will essentially be software. It will be a number in a program that the Fed, Treasury, the government, your political opponents will all have access to. They eventually want to get rid of most banks. Now, the, the big ones are too big to fail. But in the end, the ultimate objective is to essentially wipe all of the banks out so that your bank will be the Federal Reserve. Everything will be centralized. And again, this is not really about the money, although of course it is. This is about power and control because the government, such as it is, will have access to all of the information related to every single transaction you make. You buy a stick of gum, the government will know. You buy a new car, the government will know. Oh, you bought the wrong car. You didn't buy an EV. Now you're going to get penalized. So in the end, Sean, this is really a move toward a CCP-style social credit system. And they're using this move to a central bank digital currency as the biggest lever to try to get us there. It's important to note that... that uh, other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin is decentralized. This will be centralized within the government. Bitcoin is a is a, uh, a technology for freedom. This is a technology for control. I mentioned this to you before. I brought my I brought my prop. I got a twenty dollar bill. I can use this twenty dollar bill however I choose for for meat, for guns, for even illicit purposes. But when the government controls the dollar, they can control as as the as a. Uh, as we talked about in the report, whether you can buy a firearm, how much gas you can buy, how much electricity you can buy, can you buy meat or do you have to buy bug-based meat? They can control everything that you purchase with a digital dollar and whether you can purchase anything. Well, that's also the point, too, because if you overstep perhaps your monthly carbon footprint right. or if you say something that the government doesn't like, you engage in wrong think, they'll be able to turn off your access to your own money. So you will not be able to buy or sell anything. This, this is what I mean about how dangerous you're it is. You're you are, shut out of the economy if you're You are shut thinker. out of the economy. And, of course, it's all subjective. And it will right. be, all be in the hands of these Marxists, right? And so you and I won't be able to buy anything. This is why it's so dangerous, because this spells the end of your economic freedom. Yeah. And I'm not sure the American people are really paying close attention to it. I'm glad Senator Cruz and some others, uh, Governor DeSantis, they're paying attention to it. But this is moving very fast down the track. And we need more leaders on, on the Republican side to stand up and even responsible Democrats to say, look, this is not the path for the United States. Because if we continue to go down the path, you're going to lose all of your economic freedom and economic power will be centralized in the hands of the very, very few. And I think there's a lot of conversation about a tax on freedom, a tax on democracy, right? If, if, and you look at all those things. Do you think this is one of the greatest threats that we face in the country is the digitization of the dollar by the Fed? Yes, 100 percent. And it's moving along a parallel track with the de-dollarization movement, right. where you have countries now that are dumping the dollar. It's moving pretty fast. All Saudi Arabia has to do is say, you know what, we're going to start trading oil in different currencies rather than the dollar to have a complete global and certainly American economic collapse. And that, in a way, they want to instigate that, Sean, because if we have a true economic implosion, they'll ride in as the rescuers with a That's central right. bank digital and, and, currency. And we were talking about that in the last segment. I'm, listen, I'm, I'm frightened uh, that we could lose the reserve status with the dollar. What that does for our economy, um, a lot of economists don't. But you look at, it again, a, a $32 trillion debt on the way to $50 trillion, uh, 50 trillion in the next 10 years. Uh, the Fed has a balance sheet of almost $9 trillion. This is disastrous policy to think that the dollar is going to re remain the reserve currency 
for much longer. Yeah, and if that goes away, then you're going to have the kind of economic implosion we have not seen since the Great Depression. And what does that mean to you and me? That means astronomical inflation. Yes. That makes today's inflation look like child's play. This will be Weimar Republic kind of hyperinflation. And really, the, the only solution to it is going back to the gold standard, which you know would be difficult to do. But you've got to have our currency backed with a hard asset like gold. Otherwise, you know, you've got this free-floating uh, dollar and, and system that is not backed by anything See the real. the price of gold? Price of gold above two thousand dollars. Yep. People are making a transition. Monica Crowley, yes. always so smart. I couldn't agree with you more. Oh. Thank you for joining me. Always a pleasure. Check Sean. out our podcast. It's awesome. Oh, All right. thanks.